Hello Wastelanders, Wanderer here, welcome back to Fallout 4 Horizon. Picking up right where we left off, uh, on our way over to Wicked Shipping to get back our furry friend Dogmeat, who I apparently left behind quite a while ago. Uh, apologies for the length of time it took to get him back, but you know, we weren't really in the area. I didn't know where he was for a while. Uh, and of course, I record my episodes. Oh, hello. You're just a random guy, huh? Okay, I'll take your stuff. I record my episodes uh, well in advance. Oh, you're one of the you're, you're, you're a diarrhea guy, aren't you? Oh no, he's a chem vendor. What do you have? Um, yeah, you know, 80 caps for some jet. How much jet do I have? I have two jet. You know, we're gonna pass for now. Not a bad little event there, though. Uh, okay, we've gone way past where I wanted to go. Yeah, it's over here. I was going the wrong way. Anyway, it's fine. We'll find some stuff over here. Isn't there a dog I didn't kill over here? There's a dog that spawns over here that should give us some easy meat. Maybe I killed him already, though, because he was over in this area. And I've already gotten the mute fruit that are over here, so it's possible I already killed him. Yeah, I probably already killed him. Okay. Well, we're heading up to get dog meat. But anyway, I record my videos uh, well in advance because it's, it'd be almost impossible for me with, with my work schedule and stuff to uh, get these out uh, one per day, which is what I try to do. I don't always succeed. There are usually one or two days during the week I don't get a video out. I do my best to do them every day, though, and to have them scheduled and ready to pop right at 9 a.m. Uh, Eastern time, or whatever that might be for you in... Uh, oh, hello. Scavenger, huh? In... Uh, not Eastern Time. You're not hostile, though, eh? Bye. Amazing what people will just leave lying around like junk. Yeah. I thought about killing her. I really did. But uh, she's not hostile. I'm not going to do it. It's, it. It'd be too mean. Could look for the corpse that is over here, too, somewhere. The one that we sent to the moon. I couldn't find him. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Probably not. Probably not worth my time. But okay, where did I leave dog meat at? I need like a... There's gotta be like a dog whistle mod. Oh god, don't don't even... I learned what dog whistling... Like, it's a, it's a term for people of... Uh, ill, like, intention to find other people of, of ill intention, but that, that's not what I'm talking about. I want liter literally a dog whistle mod that I can my character can just whistle and uh, dog meat would appear and that'd be that'd be great. Not like a don't think into that one too much. Oh god, that's a lot of rats. Okay. The water is so much worse now than it used to be. Even like, even outside of power armor, it was uh, not that bad in previous versions. I guess someone will just decide rads for everyone. You get some rads. Rad management was not hard enough. Although I did mention before that rad management was not that difficult in my opinion. So... Hmm... Well, I don't see dog meat. I'm pretty sure we left him here. Unless it was somewhere else, but I thought it was over here. Uh. I'm really not sure how you didn't know I was here, but. Alright. Rest in peace, Raider Initiate. I guess that's why you're Initiate. You're not uh, a Raider Veteran or anything. There is a Rad Storm here, too. Which is no good. Yeah, you know, um, I think I'm just gonna call... Can I just, like, call Dogmeat to me? Okay, there's Dogmeat. We got him. Hey. Alright, follow me, Dogmeat. Okay, we're good. I just had to find the ID for him, and then, yeah, now we're good. Okay, let's get out of this damn rad storm. We're taking unnecessary rads. I, uh, I want to do more with the settlements, guys, but really, we're kind of stopped by the need for nuclear material. It's really been kind of a pain in the butt, so, um... 
Wait, what? Did I just hear... We're gonna have two dog meats, because I just heard a dog yipping up here. That'd be really bizarre. If there were two. Did I harvest this? No, I must have missed this one. This must be the one that ran off and I couldn't find it. Got killed by other NPCs. Okay, not that way, dog meat. Over this way. I will never tell... It's not true. I will tell him to stay again. And I'll forget about him again. We're gonna get a real companion pretty soon anyway. I mean, not that dog meat's not great. I like dog meat. He's a good, he's a good companion. He's a good dog, okay? Look, don't flame me in the comments. I know there's a lot of dog meat lovers, but here's the, here's the thing. We can craft revival kits and put them on another companion and they can revive us. And if they revive us, then uh, we can cheat death, basically. So like having one of those on us at all times is gonna be pretty important if we wanna, you know, actually um, not end this run prematurely. It's not a guarantee. I mean, if I run out of them in the field and just got get shot again or something right away, then I'm, I'm just dead. But it gives me a chance, you know? Yeah, we're going to skip time. Screw this rad storm. I got to check my mail. Just sitting here staring at that wall, huh, June? Yep, it's pretty interesting. Oh, have I already? I think I already did this last episode. It's... Apologies, guys. It's been a while since I've done stuff here. Okay. June, you're going to... Um, oh, you're, you're just going to sit there, huh? <sighs> I have to make another bench for myself because you're going to sit on it, June. Get off your ass and go do something useful. Stop moping about. I swear. What do I have here? Carrots. Guess what, June? You're a carrot farmer now. Get down there beside your wife and dig in the dirt. And stop sitting on my chair. I was gonna send somebody else to it? Uh, no, I don't think so. June's gonna do it. That's right. Yep. Get out there, go do it. Get off my chair. Alright. And now we're going to sit for a second, and we're going to skip some time. And look at that, like magic, it's nice outside, and we don't have to deal with any more rads. Great. Alright, so let's dump off the stuff, as usual. Uh, I need to look at what I can make as far... Oh, I have dog armor for dog meat. Hold on. Hey. Forgot about that. Wait, can I, can I upgrade it, I wonder? Um... Okay, I, I can't... I can't trading right now anyway, but let me see. Can I upgrade the dog armor? Looks like no. That'd be a cool addition if you could, like, upgrade the dog armor with better... Hey, over here. Better, uh, stuff. Better materials or whatever. Alright. Dog armor. There you go. Cool. Cool with that. Alright, and we have, uh, food and stuff. It's, like I said, it's been a while since I played, guys, so I need to kind of... See where we're at here. I can't do anything with any of these. It's fine. We're good on first aid supplies. I need rad removal stuff. Okay. So I need to go to chemistry here and get some rad removal stuff if I can make any. Yeah, revival stim pack allows companions to revive you, and it's not that bad to make these. In fact, uh... We could make them right away. Ooh, rad chew. I can make some rad chew. What does this require besides the pharmaceuticals? And we can make a couple of these. Okay. It's uh, survival units, huh? Bubblegum recipe. All right. I don't want to make more than one because I kind of want to set up some gourds here to be farmed. If those are going to be required and useful. Gourds were kind of... Uh, not a useless crop, but they weren't as useful as other stuff, at least not until late game. So, yeah. And do a gourd. Do I have anyone for this? I don't even know if we do. 
Let's scrap this thing now too, I guess. Doesn't really serve a function. Is Codsworth going to be on that? Carla's here too. I could check her stock. What about... Sturgis, you, you farming? Yeah, you're farming. Cool. Oh, random settlers on these. Okay, well... Random settler, get off of that. We're going to scrap these, actually. They're not. It's not efficient to have you on these. Okay, we're all set now. That uh, settler is no longer on those things. It's doing that. So we got a lot more crops coming in now. Uh, but yeah, I can't make any more rad chew. And I'm pretty sure the rad chew is going to go through. We're going to go through all of it. Uh, just to get through the bit of rads we have now. But that's fine. It's whatever. Sorry for the time skip. I, uh was having a coughing fit, so. Okay, as far as our supplies go for food and such, I think we're pretty good on food, not so much on the water. Uh, someone said I could make an advanced filter, and that would give me access to some purified water. But I don't think that works on survival mode. Pretty sure it does not. Or sorry, not survival. On uh, desolation mode. I'm, I think if, if you're playing on... Uh, if you're... Oh, hey, I've got some... Uh, I could almost make this. If I had one more gourd, I could make this. That'd be really, really good. Uh, so I can get rid of my parasites that we got previously. Which I'm pretty sure we still have. Uh, Cure's Weakness provides minor hydration. This is only like plus 20 hydration. It's not really any different than what we currently can make. Um, this provides excellent hydration. Okay, but again, it requires chlorine, so... Not that amazing. And all the juice recipes require purified water, so it's they're not really all that amazing. Um, unless they're talking about, like... Maybe in here or something? I don't see anything, though. Or in the trading terminal, that's possible too. You can check trading terminal, maybe there's a uh, way to trade for that stuff, or for salt or something, I don't know. No, these are it. Um, we get bubblegum here, it's rather expensive though. can get this fairly early on as well and turn excess fusion cores into energy cell, which is pretty useful. Okay. Um, well, I mean, this is, I guess, not terrible. But yeah, I did, there's just... Water is just really, really tough. I mean, until we get to the point where we can make our own purified water, um, which is going to require pretty advanced tech levels, it's just going to be tough, guys. That's all there is to it. Uh, I can't do anything new here as far as... Um, I can make an advanced filter, yeah, but... Like, even though I can make these, I don't think I can actually make use of them. I can buy them too. I, I think uh, someone had one, but I don't I don't know that it actually is useful unless um make a cargo bot here too. They're not that expensive anymore, I guess. Though nuclear material is used for so much of their stuff now it's kinda rough. 
What's the weapon tinker kit cost now? Eh, it's still kind of pricey. The adhesive is rough early on. This is disassembly, right? Yeah, where you can dis disassemble some stuff. I have a lot of glass bottles, I guess, so I could disassemble those if I need to. Um, not doing any of this stuff just yet. Okay, well, let me see what the purifier module requires to make, but I'm going to call it right now, guys. It's going to be like tech level 8 or something like that. It's going to be hard to get to on distillation mode. It's much, much easier on... Uh, There you go, water and towns, water pumps, water purification, here we go. Okay, so here's what we need. Yeah, we need a purifier module. And uh, as one purification rating, so that means we get one purified water per day. And I think you're capped at four purified water per day. In general, this is just the same thing, but... Uh, double the materials. Well, not quite double. It's a bit more efficient to make this one. So this only requires workshop tech level one. So it's actually quite easy to make. It just needs two purifier modules and a bunch of adhesive. So maybe that's the shift that I kind of missed and what I'm supposed to be doing. But I need to I need to get purifier modules, right? That's that's all I need besides yeah besides adhesive, which I can find more adhesive out in the world. So purifier module, um, not in here. Sorry. Gotta check on the tech workshop. Uh, we saw the advanced filter. I think I saw a purifier module there, too. No, it wasn't here. Um, I can make carbon fiber sheets from trading now, too, if I wanted to. I don't know that I really want to use the crossbow that much anymore, but yeah. gotta be in here right purifier yeah here we go okay so yeah oh yeah oh yeah 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 so it requires so here's the problem it requires workshop tech rank nine so i mean yeah forget about it we're not gonna have that for a long time okay and um i still don't know how to access my production my production bench because I can't make a unless I have the stuff for it now. No, please, please go. What, what's the deal here? Why can we not go into uh there we go, workshop mode. I still can't make a Oh I, I can make a resource station now. I have enough nuclear material. Okay. I don't know how I got some nuclear material, but alright. I'll take it. Okay, so we gotta connect this to... Um, I'd like to connect it to Red Rocket, but I think we just connect it to Abernathy. That way we've got supply land over here, and then we're gonna have to connect this back up to here, which is dumb, but I can only make one of these right now. So, there we go. We have a master workbench set to Sanctuary Hills. Let's, um, production storage. Here we go. It wasn't that much, but I mean, I'm glad I got it. Making sure I didn't leave anything in here or anything. I don't know if I actually accessed this before or not. Don't think so. No, it's all empty. Okay, so local supply line should go over to Abernathy. That's cool. Production's going to production store, just fine. I can trade with Carla from here, which is cool. She has advanced filter, but not, uh... Doesn't help us, like, at all anymore. It seems like I can't make anything with that, so... Unless she's selling a purifier module, it's not going to really be, uh... A boon to us. I do have some Nuka Cola. I think I could just drink that instead. 
Um, I can also sell... No, I can't because we are, we're already maxing her for now. Okay, so Nuka-Cola, Nuka-Cola, anybody? Yes, we have a couple of those. Uh, that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it, man. That's about all we can do. Just gonna dump everything into here for now. That's not. Uh, this does provide minor hydration. I guess we have to drink beers too. Okay. I mean, good to know, I guess you know, but like pretty rough still. Yeah, I can't sell these right now. We don't have anyone to sell them to, really. Okay, so then let's look at our ammo situation here. We have pretty much everything on us that we can use. Um, we have plenty of 45 rounds, yeah. So we're going to be using up the 38 rounds, I think, for now. And the 30 rounds. So the uh, SMG... This thing for the 45 and 5.56 five, maybe, and then um, I gotta get my SMG out right. So this thing right here, yeah, yeah. This is reasonable. It's not great damage, it's not great range, but it's reasonable on both. It's fine. I can't do much more to it though, so it just kinda is what it is, you know? At least we have the power armor, so we don't have any worries about. Um, Carrying stuff right now, right? Like, should be fine. And I should be able to fast travel down to, uh, Starlight Driving, so we don't have to go up for a big long walk again. That'd be kind of unfortunate. Power armor at least is in good shape, our health is in good shape. Okay, we're fine. Alright, so let's get the submachine gun out. Sorry for the long kind of catching up time there, guys. I just didn't know what I wanted to do. We don't have any ammo for that right now, so we're not going to use it. And this thing, if I have to, I guess I will, but I probably won't. Yeah, this is totally fine. Okay with this. Um, let's make a fast travel station thing. One of these bad boys. And let's see, we have no supplies. Let's go ahead and... If I want supplies, I have to use, what, field supplies? 10 supply kits or caps. I can do vendor credits too later on, but now I can't. So I have plenty of supply kits though. Hold on, can I, can I just add supplies? Okay, yeah, add 10 supply kits that gives us 40 supplies. That's, that's totally fine. It just, it just based on where you're at. That's, it's, or it's based on, uh, what you have in your storage, so I can do this from anywhere, probably. I don't know that I'll really need these, so that's probably fine. Okay, that should be good. Then let's go down to Starlight Drive-In. That way we're not spending eternity walking through the empty wastes where we've already cleared through. And we still have some daylight left, and we're gonna have some raiders over here, yeah? Mercenaries. Oh, it's, uh, Fred O'Connell. He's a weapons dealer, yeah? Or just a junk vendor? I'm not really sure. But if we talk to him, we should open him up for a conversation. And the market trading terminal, or the, the courier trading system, right? Just another vendor we can use. So. Uh, oh, you're all cleaned out. That's right. This is the guy that's all cleaned out. He's got some okay weapons and stuff, though. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. All right. Um, these are actually free, like for no good reason. And you have some caps too, so I'll go ahead and sell you some stuff. That's fine. Just like 30 more. One. There we go. Got a loot. Move along. Screw you, buddy. That's interesting. Usually it's just like raiders that spawn here. Okay, so we're going to follow 
the plan was to follow, yeah, this, these over here, these giant, uh, uh, transformer towers, right? Is that what they're called? Something like that. They're the big electrical towers, you know, that carry, like, a whole bunch of electrical lines. We're gonna follow these, and they will lead us to... Our objective, which is going to be the uh, crazy dude that was building a bomb, his his shack or whatever. There's also the Wicked Shipping truck over here we can check out and get some stuff from there. And there's a thing over here too. There's the gunners over here we didn't take out yet, too, that we, we picked a fight with that we had to run away from because we were poisoned and taking damage, and it was it was a real bad time. Plus the uh, cigarette machines over here. I was curious if I had a level up that I could use because I might have considered just popping it. But we don't have enough, so... Never lucky. I have 10 luck, too. Well, that's useful, though. We get some Nuka-Cola. I guess, like, if we went into, you know, downtown Boston, we'd find quite a bit of uh, Nuka-Cola. That'd be useful. It'd be some free hydration, anyway. Oh. Hello there. You're not that tough. I can take you down. You're currently not... I want you to... That yeah, worked like a charm. Give me lots of food. Ten items harvested. Oh, and it's all disease crap. Okay. Figures. Hey, look at that nice chest. So nice to get a chest that actually has some good loot. I mean, I've, I've said this a million times, but it really, that, that change really is nice. I mean, I know it's like not a lot. It's like a couple of rounds, but a couple of free rounds is, it can go a long way in Horizon, okay? We follow that train track, we'll find some rad stags and stuff, but, uh... Not gonna worry about that just yet. Oh, so there's some dead corpses in here, too. That I would assume the bear killed. Okay. Sorry there, scavs. But, you know, your misfortune is, uh, my fortune, I guess. Ooh, some bolts. Repeating bolter. All right. Maybe I will get the, uh, crossbow back out if I got some free bolts. Okay, cool. Right, so we're gonna head, I think it's back up this way a little bit. I don't think it's quite so far south. There's the raiders, or the uh, gunners over here, too. It's, like, up this way a little bit from, uh... From there. Should I kill you for parts? You're not that hard to kill. In fact, if I get a shot on... A sneak attack shot on your, uh... Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, well, I want to harvest you for parts, my robot friend. What do we get? Very nice. Advanced circuitry. That's, that's yeah, it was well worth it. Well worth it. 
I can't talk today, guys. Sorry. Bubble gum for free. Hey, there we go, got it. Another free harvest here from this guy. And I'm assuming, yeah, that gives us salvaging skill, that's cool. So that's some free salvaging, cannot use this bed, no, we can use this bed, that's good. In case we have to sleep down here, I guess we're not that far from uh, the other place. Over here, our settlement down here, so it's not that big of a deal if I need to sleep, but... Do I want to kill some gunners? Or do I want to try to? It's not that bad, honestly. Get a, uh, stealth headshot. Pretty reasonable. Oh yeah, we can take him. What about the other one? Um... Corporal, what, oh wait, what is higher, corporal or lieutenant? This guy's, uh, they're about the same. Level 8, both level 8. Eh. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And now we run... Wait, what's, what's shooting over there? It's not shooting at us. There, he's fighting somebody. I pissed him off and he ran over here and now he's fighting something else. Hmm, that's good. Take advantage of that situation, shall we? He's so close to dead. Stop teleporting. How are you? Yeah, get him, get him dog meat. This is surprisingly effective for being 38 caliber ammo. Pretty good to be honest. I thought I'd have to put a lot more rounds in these guys to actually kill them. Well, this is reasonable. I'm not gonna go out there though. Seriously, fuck. You know I don't know about that. They're gonna come around the corner here and we're just gonna shoot him in the face. Bit of a fusion core drain there, but I'll say it was worth it. Maybe not the best idea to salvage this guy right here, but you know, I'm impatient. I'm not sure. Probably the turret is what's giving us aggro right now. Let me take care of this other corpse real quick, and then we'll go kill the turret. Ooh, a scoped uh, 5.56. Five, Very nice. And a combat rifle. Wow, and a micro sledge. You had all the good stuff. Some light combat armor. Okay. Check out the micro sledge. Traditionally, the micro sledge was like a step up over other medium swing weapons. Not sure if it's still a case or not. 
Uh, no, it's the same now as other ones, pretty much, so... It might, actually, it might be a little bit better. It used to be 28 damage, though. It got a very, very big nerf. It used to be 28 damage per swing. Okay, got a custom scoped rifle here, same as the other one, just, uh, you know, with a scope. That's cool. Might be worthwhile to take out this turret anyway. Certainly's gonna have more range. That I I'm pretty sure I saw that clip on the damn tree. As impossible as that sounds. Maybe that's not the turret actually. It's not the turret, is it? That's not that's not the actual turret. Okay, so where the hell is the turret at? There's always a turret up there. Did I kill it already? Did it die already? Has it been adjusted and moved by Zawanul to be more... difficult to take out? I'm not sure if I can hit that from over here. Easily, anyway. I think he added that. So, on the... Plus... Oh, jeez, dog meat, you scared me. On the plus side, it can't shoot me. It can't shoot me. But on the negative side, I'm pretty sure I can just sneak up behind it and just mow it down. Like, I don't think it's going to be any challenge at all. Oh, ne never mind, never mind. I was wrong. It can definitely shoot me from over there. What about if I go over here? What a oh, okay, no. All right, we go around. I want to kill it because it's, you know, it's going to be some good ammo, but... Corpse is over here, right? There's going to be people up top we need to kill, too. Ooh, salt shaker. And some fusion cells. I don't see, uh... Oh, a laser pistol. There we go. Free Rad Scorpion. There's a free lunch right there. Or maybe not. You scroll that. Alright. I damn it, Zawanul freaking mines. I saw it over there too, and I was like, oh, it's a uh I can get it from here, can't I? Yeah, see Zaw I'm still gonna get it, Zawanul. You can't, you can't fool the wanderer. Take that turret. It is actually pretty hard to hit from here. Ha. Got out with my cheap ammo, too. Someone's still fighting. Oh, it's these raiders over there. I think that's what the gunners were going after. I think that uh, in the patch notes I read that Zaunal buffed um, some of the enemies' combat armor. It's all light. I'm gonna pass. He buffed um, some of the enemy's perceptions, so like it wouldn't surprise me if normally they wouldn't fight those guys, but because they have buffed perception now, they're going to go after. Oh, I can't scrap an ash pile. Okay, there we go. Now I can. If they would go after the raiders or whatever now, if that makes sense. There will be some people over here. Probably behind some of this stuff.
or over here patrolling one of the two. Well, there's actually... Maybe I killed these already. I don't recall, but there is a machine gun turret over here. It's going to be pretty tanky from this range, so... This is even worse, really. Well, it's not worse, but uh, it's not really any different, so if I get closer, is it better? No, I think, I think we're just... I have to deal with some crappy... ammo inefficiency on that. I might have gotten the pe Yeah, I think I killed someone over here and maybe killed the turret. And then I like ran away because I was being chased and I had poison and it was it was scary. It was not a good time. So I took off. And uh, can I actually get up here and scrap this thing? I don't know how I managed that. There's like a little texture of a door sticking out there. I don't know how I got that, but you know what? Uh, we'll take it. But where is the big piece that I can actually scrap? There we go. That'll work. Well, only a fuse, but it gave us some salvaging skill, which is good. Let's check the other part of the camp here. I didn't kill everyone over here. I only killed one. There's a bunch of rad stags down here too. I wouldn't mind throwing a bomb at to kill, but I don't, <clears throat> I'm not sure we'll really have an opportunity. I'm not sure if I even have a bomb. Oh, I do have a pipe bomb. Okay, we'll, we'll try. If I can get them all with one, one grenade toss would be great. Well, I guess, uh... Have to look for a corpse over here. I'm pretty sure I killed someone with a headshot over here. Hey, another pipe bomb. Nice. But, uh, yeah, there's a whole, there's a whole family of Radstag over there, and, um... Well, I'm sorry, Radstags, but you're gonna be dinner. Maybe. Oh, we, um... Didn't kill him at all. We just pissed that one off pretty badly. Well. That sucks. I want to go get him, I guess, because I really want the food, so. These are just kind of chilling. We crippled this one. Or, I don't know, maybe it's just sitting there. Why are you why are you walking backwards, my man? Okay, I feel less bad about getting kind of inefficient kills with this thing because it is just uh, 38 ammo after all. It's not really a big deal to craft more. Hmm. No, don't get out. Keyboard, you betrayed me once again. It has like a long, kind of a long key press activation, and when I'm spamming the E button, just hit space instead. That's probably better. It uh, it does that sometimes. It, it thinks I'm holding down the button as opposed to spamming the button. Well, we got some of them. Uh, my pipe bomb did pretty much nothing, unfortunately. We should still find a couple more... ...just kind of chilling over here. They don't run that far. There's a dog. This is the dogs with a train track. 
There's a rat stag doe. Got him. Don't know where... Oh, there it is. Uh, we're not gonna make it to the destination day, are we, guys? We're gonna- we're just gonna explore this- ooh, power armor! Hold that thought, folks. Actual, real- is this T-45? I'm sure it's all ruined, but... Only advanced. Security's too tight. Uh, I don't have a auto-hacker. I sh I should have made some before I left. They're not that hard to make. Can I make them? Oh, hold on. Excuse me. That really should have hit at you, I think. But, okay. Okay. Was so really interrupted. I was gonna say, maybe, perhaps, I can... Uh, get what I need. from my field kit. Maybe I can make a hacking thing in my field kit, but it's I probably don't have the stuff on me to do it. Well, only one way to, only one way to find out, I guess. Let's see. <clears throat> Would be utility crafting, I'm sure. Oh? Oh, we just need some plastic and I could do it. Okay. We will look for plastic. That's not that bad. If I level up, I could do a point into hacking, too. I'd prefer not to, but... Wouldn't be that bad. And, uh, isn't there a raider over here, some like, along the train tracks, like, burying their friend, being all sad? That we're going to murder shortly? Also a... Is that a vendor over here? Is that, is that a car just laying there? There's more- there are more rad stags on the train tracks, too. It is just a car. Okay, I better stay away from that. It might just randomly kill me. And a random feral gold reaver. Okay, well, you know. Maybe the car blew up whenever they were fighting or something. But yeah, I'm, I, I thought I killed a raider or a uh, gunner over here, but I, I don't know where the corpse is at. And I, yeah, it's not gonna be worth the trouble. All right, let's let's go to where we meant to go today all along, which is the crazy guy's house. I mean, mean maybe not so crazy. The government was up to some shady stuff, so it's not really that insane. What was that? I just saw a. I could do something here. Maybe it was just dog meat. Yeah, it was just dog meat. What time of day is this? It's um. My local time. I want. I want map. I want. Uh, okay, it's 5:46 p.m. It's just really nice lighting. The sun. It looks really pretty right now. Sun coming down. It looks really good. Yeah, I'm gonna go over and follow these, uh, which I've gotten really far away from now. I want to go back and get that power armor though, but I don't have any plastic. This is the vendor. It's the cat lady who sells cat meat. But she also might have some plastic bowls I can steal. Oh, I can just take it. Uh, it's plastic. Do you have any more? That I can just have? Hmm? Let's do this. Oh. 
Uh oh. Here, go ahead, take some shots. Good job. Cat lady, good job. Um, I'm gonna steal your... Oh, you're not, it's not even stealing. You can keep your skirt. And your clipboard. Is that a Brahmin I heard? I'm pretty sure it was a Brahmin. Maybe there's like a, a traitor over there fighting these raiders and dying to them over and over again. All right, how much how much uh, plastic do I have now? Let's look at a uh, component view here. Pl only four. I need eight to make a single auto hacker thing. Oh, this is um, Walden Pond. We're way off script, guys. We're way off script. We're, this was not where I was supposed to go. Well, there's raiders over here. We're gonna kill the raiders, too. We're here. Why not? Oh, they get pretty good detection. I can't even talk today at all. Oh, hello. I see you there. You're rather tanky, eh? There we go. Had to get those headshots. Wasn't doing much damage otherwise. Maybe the batting helmet has some plastic in it. That'd be nice. I mean, it certainly would. I'm just not sure it would actually give me plastic from it in the game, you know? In real life, it certainly would. Um, okay, where is Raider number two at then? I don't see them anywhere here. Oh, you just blend right in, didn't you? Not very geared for you, sir. Nice, right away. Thought there was like more stuff in here. Has the chem station been, uh... Did the chem station always have this little extra piece right here? Maybe it did. Maybe I'm just maybe I'm just losing it, guys. But I don't remember that being that. On if I have I looked at this a million times and and never seen this little extra barrel here. I don't know. It looks new to me. Maybe it's always been there. Maybe I'm just I'm just losing it. But I I don't know. I'm gonna have to go and look at one online now because I'm curious if I'm just misremembering that or not. I don't dislike it, I just... It's kind of odd. I mean, not really even odd, it's just... It's just different. I'm just not used to seeing it like that. Okay, here it is. Finally, guys, we're here. There's gonna be a bunch of ghouls here. Which is fine, we're in power armor. We can take them.
Get him, dog meat. Get him. That's not getting him. There you go. Get him. There you go. Good job. Well, that was easy. Got blood all over my power armor. I really... I mean, it's mean, but I... Oh, get him, dog meat. Good job. Oh, you didn't get him. So I knocked him out of your kill animation. I really, really enjoy chopping off their arms. It really, really satisfies me. Especially with a katana. It makes me very happy. It's just so unsatisfying in games whenever you, like, hit someone with a big blade weapon like this, and you're like, yep, I hit him. Nice, nice cut angle there and everything, you know? But, like, it just, they just get staggered a little bit and take a little bit of damage. But here, when you're cutting up the ghouls, you can chop them to pieces. And it feels good. It feels satisfying in a disgusting way. Don't judge me. Support. I'm going for the head. I really am. I really am trying to swing for the head, but I just keep chopping off their arms. Mate, there should be plastic in that coffee thing, right? No, it's aluminum. That's right. It, it was changed. It used to have plastic in it. Okay. Maybe we'll find some down here. Empty aluminum canister. Oh boy. Hey, duct tape. Very nice. How the metal bucket fit inside of here, don't ask. There should be one ghoul left in here. He uh, maybe Zalano buffed him to be really scary and tanky. I don't know. This has pla no, it's just worth minus, right? Nah, he's still a big softy. Come on out here, Wayne. Get him, dog meat. Come on, get him. That was not ideal. Sorry, dog meat. Hey, I'm pretty sure I just hit you. Hey, level up. Well, maybe we'll just get hacking so we can get in that power armor cage. I really shouldn't. I really should be getting, like, science instead, but I don't think I can get the next, uh, next science stuff anyway. Um, even if I went to the next rank of science, I don't think I can get the stuff I need, so... Doesn't really help that much, but yeah, here's what we're here for. Nuclear material... And rads. Lots of rads. A salt shaker. Okay, and that's it, I'm pretty sure. Get out of here before we take more rads. So, how much... It's gonna depend. How much, uh... How much... Plastic do I have now? Oh, we got eight! We got just enough, guys. Okay, let's let's go and get our um, our free power armor then. That's probably gonna be terrible. Um, in that case, maybe I'll go with salvaging instead. That way, I can do a bit more looting out here because we're really suffering from not having enough nuclear material. And I feel like if I had salvaging, I could probably manage to get some nuclear material. Like I don't think you get a whole lot from some of the low level appliances. Like you get more from vehicle scrap, but um. 
it'd be, you know, it'd be better for sure. It'd be worth... We'll also increase our leveling speed for salvaging too by doing that, so... First, we gotta head back over to that wicked ship. No, it was... Uh, I don't even know where it was, guys. It was, like, down further south. Usually, I, I always have these by the time... I always have, like, hacking one by the time I'm ready to get that. Let's go ahead and craft that, though. Let's do, do that real quick, actually. Okay, stealthy, sneaky, field kit, and utility crafting, and... Wait, yeah, it's not a hacker. Auto hacker is what we want. We can make, um... We get eight for that one. Okay, that's fine. And yes, it uses up the salt shaker plastic, but it's just going to scrap the the salt shaker into, like, their component parts. It's it's fine. We'll... Oh, hi. I forgot about you. I don't really want to sprint. Not the most dignified, not the most dignified death pose, but, uh, I mean, it'll work, I guess. There's a joke in there somewhere about face down, ass up, but I'm not going to say it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Right, so, uh, that power armor was, like, over this way? I think... Uh, yeah, it was, like, more down this way in, like, a convoy, right? Or no, it was on the train tracks. Maybe I just find the, follow the train tracks and I'll find it. It was, like, further down south-ish. Over here. Where are the train tracks at? Oh, uh, they're not really marked on here. I don't... They weren't the Grey Garden train tracks, I don't think. That is a power armor site I forget about pretty often, so... I'd like to go and get it if I can, before I completely forget about it. As you know, I will. Maybe we get lucky and get a fusion core? What'd you find, buddy? Oh, raiders. Not bad. Took a few shots, but it's okay. We got enough, uh... We got plenty of, um... Healing stuff right now, so not really a big deal. The rad's the more concerning issue, actually. There's some... There's a whole bunch of plastic here, too. And a dog helmet. Ooh, a mole rat stew. Heads up. Here you go, buddy. Look, you're all kid out now. Look at that. I'm just gonna eat that right now, that mole rat stew. It's not quite enough, but it's like half of our hydration and food requirements. Pretty good. I mean, I could probably take care of this now then, yeah? Just, um... Do that, and then do a couple of nuka colas. These 20 each? Okay, that's probably it then, yeah? We should be good? Oh, it's- beer is only 10 each, okay. Beer's even less. 
I need the alcohol from beer too, so I don't know if I really want to... Don't know if I really want to go that route. Oh, come on, game. Come on, keyboard. You're just trolling me now. Is that the thing over there? To the left? Maybe not. The sky is pretty here, too. Um... I am detecting predators tracking your position. Gonna be like 10 million ghouls again. I'm down for it. Horizon ramps up the difficulty. Wow, we took a lot of rads earlier, more than I realized. Horizon ramps up the difficulty quite a bit over time of these encounters, so like, eventually it's gonna be like pretty powerful. Like gunners or synths or super mutants or something. It will not be a great time. What did I do? Did I like dump water in myself or something on accident? No, I mean, we're hydrated, so I, I drank something. I just... The beer give me that much? There's the bear. This, this is the park over here. The bears are over there. I don't wanna really want to go there at the moment. I just want to find this... Uh, this lost... Power armor train... Not sure where these guys are at, but like it's difficult to find them sometimes. There's a rad stag doe. Surprised you just kind of stood there and took that, but okay. That was a really long falling over animation. Got all these guys already. Huh, was it over here somewhere? I feel like I was through here. Was I? Maybe it was, o yeah, maybe it was over here on these, yeah, it was, it was on these train tracks up here. I'm um, just a dumb dumb. It is the only train tracks on the map. I don't know why I thought there would be like an unmarked train track location. That would be where I was supposed to go for this. No, this is it right here. Okay. We did it. That does not do damage to you. It's just a very fancy explosion. Let's see what we got. No fusion core, of course. Well, this is deteriorated. I mean, this is not bad. I can actually fix these up into usable parts. It's going to be pretty heavy, but um, it's a full set. T45, you know. I'll take it. Can I salvage this? So for salvaging, it requires 120, and for uh, recover, I guess I just get like a... Um, ooh, a sealed container. Ooh. Do I get good stuff in here, like a fusion core, maybe? That's a tough lock. It is like... Okay, there we go. So touchy. Nice. Ooh, a T-51 leg. Okay, some decent stuff in here. Uh, do I put that on, like, right now? Is it better than mine? No, not really. I, got, I gotta craft on it first. Okay. But cool. Well, that, that was well worth it, I would say. Not sure how much that used up in terms of our hacking supplies, but I would say it's worth it. Okay, well we got... Okay, I also want to see how much nuclear material did we get from that guy's place. Let's see... Oh my god, 65. We got so much. Guys, that, that's what we needed. That's so good. 
that's going to help out a ton. Because I had, like, none. So now, guess what? We can just make resource stations and connect all of our places together. And we can make uh, some more tech level upgrades. And we can do a whole bunch of stuff that I couldn't do before. That's actually great. Alright, guys. So I'm going to head back, I think, to Starlight Drive-In. Uh, maybe even make a resource station over here if I can. And uh, sleep for the night over here as well because it's getting pretty late. Gonna be dark soon. Maybe I'll go back off screen and uh, do a bit of linking up of my settlements. I can't fast travel back because we don't have enough settlers here to use fast travel from uh, Starlight and I don't have enough settler radios to call them in so that won't work. But I could just walk back, I guess, off screen. That'd be fine. And then connect them all. Maybe send a settler or two over here if I can. But yeah, that nuclear material is, like, essential for the early game. Now we can actually, like, really kind of start to do some stuff we need to do. But anyways, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up here for this episode. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.